evening and welcome to Joe's Pub. The show will be starting in a few minutes and we'd like to thank you all for joining us. As we gather after so long apart, we ask that all audience members wear masks when moving throughout the space and while seated when not eating or drinking. Thank you for joining us and helping us to reopen safely. We hope you enjoy the show.
Of course, that just gives no idea of all the things that have happened to Zora Neale Hurston mm -hmm. in that time. She's had Guggenheim fellowships, and she's been elected to uh, anthropological fellowships, and what's that other one? Ethnological. Ethnological fellowships. Mm -hmm. Folklore. Yes, and she's gone around the country collecting folklore and done a beautiful job. But all that has come out, I think, as we talk along. I, I, I was amused at so many of the stories in Dust Packs on the Road. There was one thing we said about the children that I love. Isn't it true that when we're little, we just think the world revolves around us?
amazing house. Um, how does it sound out there? Yeah? In the booth? Are we cool? Real cool. Oh, that booth, ha <laughs> ha! The sister friends, yes, hello. The house is full of loved ones, lovers, friends, soon to be lovers. Uh, yes, we don't know. We don't know what could happen. Mm, everything sounds so good. <laughs> He's single, he says, yes, well, well. All right, John, all right, it's the first two, my dude. <laughs> I'm Candace Hoyes, and I'm so excited to be back here at the public. Um, you know, let me ask you, should I stand right about here? With that, I heard a little feedback. In the booth? Stand right about here, right? And don't, yeah, okay. So, this is my first time in a big performing arts center since the pandemic. But what is worth noting uh, not only do I love New York, but this was the last place that I played before the pandemic. And I played with John, who's a super dear friend and uh, amazing artist. I'm gonna introduce every single iconic artist on the stage with me, because I love them. You give it up for them right now, though. I literally could not imagine a better band. So I was here in March 10th, March 10th of 2020, never knowing what lay before us. And it's so poetic and it's so friggin' powerful that we're back here and the house is packed and filled with bright and inspiring faces. That song that I played is called Zora's Moon. And the piece that you saw on the screen is some of my visual art. It's called Silent But Loud. And it uh, features some archival footage of Jamaica, where uh, I descend from, from 1907, actually. Don't get me started on the history stuff, because that's my stuff. <laughs> history, yeah, this is. Uh-huh. Any other history buffs in here? Give me, a, give me some applause. Make noise. Make noise. It's not the library. You can be a history buff, but it's not the library right now. We're in the club. So on the note of history, that song was called Zora's Moon. And it's about Zora Neale Hurston, who is one of my favorite writers. And yes, and just um, an artist who really compelled me to imagine a much richer life for myself, to look beyond expectations, um, look beyond limitations, and, and imagine what I might be. In that sample, she's talking about how she believed at age seven that the moon was following her. And being an indie, indie artist and doing interviews and whatnot, I often like wonder what do I say when I get on the radio? And to see a black woman in 1946 talking about a very subtle part of her childhood and how confident she was as a child made me feel, ah. Oh, and I started writing that song. I started writing a couple years ago. I took a year to finish it because I wanted to be just right. I love Zora that much. So in that spirit of reclamation, we're gonna keep it going. This is a song much more contemporary. I'd have to give all praises to my mom for having a dope record collection when I was growing up and introducing me to Stevie Wonder and Donna Summer, and lots of good reggae, Marcia, Marcia Griffin, and just so many uh, Shaka Demas and Pliers, and just all kinds of things, yes. Um, yeah, the, yes, massive. <laughs> so, wow, yeah, let's get into it.
Thank you. So I got to introduce this band, because I know you, you got to know, right? You got to know at this point. This is Chelsea Barrett on the tenor saxophone. And Kanoa Mendenhall on the bass. David Frazier on the drums. John Thomas on the keys. Yeah. Woo. Well, we have to burn it up like that. We're going to give you a second to have a glass of water. We're going to do something just John and I. So y'all can just relax. Yeah, well, I spend a lot of time as much as I love this city, on the road, under normal circumstances. Um, and I end up, you know, kind of catching my breath. I have a very full life. I have two beautiful children. I have this artist life. <laughs> It can be very absorbing. So planes, trains, automobiles, sometimes I end up writing on those, you know. Anybody can relate? Yeah. You know? So I feel like different thoughts come to mind when I mm, get on a train. It's like being between two places. Memories just come flooding back. And that's how I, this whole song just kind of fell out of me on the train. And wake up 
John Thomas. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my. So exciting. You know, I'm celebrating a lot. Right off the bat, celebrating all of you. I know for so many of you, it's the first live show you've been to. Give it up if it's your first live show. And I know that the world is so heavy and so overwhelming right now in many regards. And we, we let that in. I believe that music is a space, as I said, reclamation, also restoration, also it's a sacred space and it's a communal space. And I, I hope you can, all the energy that we're giving, you know, you're giving us, we're gonna give you back. Multi, multi time, you know, multifold. I believe that. And um, 
another thing I'm celebrating as far as returning to the public and being on this tour is my new album called Blue Lagoon Woman. And yes, you can give it up. <laughs> Thank you. Um, hopefully many of you have heard of it. And if, if you want to discover it, that's what I gave you a little present to everyone. Um, so you can check it out if you should choose. Um, but it's, it's, a really, it's, it's really special to be able to uh, write not only about my in musical inspirations, but about my roots as a Jamaican American woman and um, going back to Portland uh, several generations. And I have lots of family tuned in on the live stream, some in Jamaica, some around the world. Um, so thank you, Joe's Pub, for making it possible to make music in New York and transmit it out there. Um, so I'm just really proud of it, and a lot of the um, visual pieces you see also reflect the story of the album and uh, my whole journey as a mixed media artist. This is somewhat of a classic, and I, I love it very much.
something I wanted to share. It's something I, w I, I hope to always play that song. It's the first time I ever performed that song pretty much was today. Is this, is this you can hear me? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> um, and uh, this is uh, a piece that I created. Uh, this is Miss Vi, uh, Viola Minick, my great grandmother. That's the lady and that's me by her side, and um, yes, I started making these video collages because I couldn't wait to get back to my life, and then it really transported me. It was a really transcendent experience making visual art in a serious way, and it started taking me not only into the places I wanted to go, but into my past, and um, this was a moment I wanted to uh, create this live score experience. And I'm so happy that uh, y'all are like the first people to see it. <laughs> the way that it was intended. Thank you, Jean. Um, mm, yes. I think, uh, let me see. Hi, 
How are y'all feeling? You feeling good? <laughs> This is a song that I love that's kind of new for me, but it's a, it's a vintage deep cut uh, by Roberta Flack, the person who first recorded it, and written by Burt Bacharach. Anybody like either of those people? <laughs> yes, yeah, just straight royalty.
Thank you. This is another one by Burt Bacharach. I don't know that we plan to put them side by side, but um, I'm kind of enchanted by those songs that were came before my time, but seem to speak so directly to the way I feel.
Thank you. <sighs> Can you believe that our evening is rounding out <laughs> already? Already. This is what I want to say. Every time you hear good music that you love, that comes from a deep place, sometimes it's within you, in the shower, singing to your kids, you know, hyping yourself up, feeling down. It comes from a very deep place, and it's a place that we can return to again and again. So we'll be back. <laughs> and we want to thank the public, Joe's Pub in particular, for bringing us back. Um, as you can tell by my songs tonight, the ones I wrote and the ones I chose, I'm thinking a lot about these cycles. And there's so much potential for all of us. We're all just beginning anew, aren't we? And speaking of new. Thank you for listening to all this new music from Blue Lagoon Woman and for bringing in to your hearts these artists you've met maybe for the first time. I'm going to thank them one more time before we we play this song. Yeah, get ready to get ready to give it up for Chelsea Barrett. <laughs> No amend at all. <laughs> David Frazier. tell them one little thing. I wrote this song for my daughter Marielle, who was stalling. She is a classic staller. She, no, but she can stall with the best of them. I don't know about y'all's kids, but my, my kids don't like to go to sleep, so she started telling me about the atmosphere on Mars. Stall tactics. I was in trance. So much so that I started to hear a song in her speech. And I started writing with like a marker or something in the dark. And that manifested into a love song. So I leave you and thank you.
yesterday. Yesterday you prepared to love again. And today you prepared for me. And here I am, stretched in every shade. For love. And here I am, stretched in every shade, in every shade, stretched for love, stretched for love, stretched in every shade. Here I am, in every shade, in every shade, stretched for love. In every shade, stretch for love. coming out. I promise I'll see you all again. Good night.